Morning, Bill here with the Metals Minute. Today is Wednesday, August 17th, 2022. Happy anniversary. Just wanted to uh, share this moment with you. Uh, my wife, uh, Sherry, and I are married 31 years today. So we wanted to share this uh, time with our uh, loyal readers and subscribers at the U.S. Gold Bureau. And somebody said, well, what did you get her for your anniversary? Silver and gold, of course. But anyway, hey, we've got uh, the metals are lower this week, so it's a, a good buying opportunity. I believe we're in an overall upward trend, so all the details are in the write-up there. Of note, uh, Palladium takes the wheel as the year-to-date uh, winner so far, uh, up 20%. So hooray for Palladium. Uh, I do believe we have uh, good things to, to happen between now and the end of the year for all the metals. Uh, we've got some interesting stories going on out there. Uh, today it's uh, revealed that another major zinc smelter is shutting down across Europe. This makes uh, right at half of the capacity to produce and smelter zinc has been shut down across Europe. The reason is energy prices. Now just anecdotally, I've had uh, business owners sending copies of their uh, utility bills in various places across Europe, and some of them are seeing eight times the rate of their utility cost has gone up eightfold over the past year. So sometimes businesses just say, this is too high. We can't pay the power bill and still make money, so we're just going to shut down. Now this is important for uh, silver because 35% of silver production worldwide is a byproduct of zinc and lead mines. So anytime you shut down uh, zinc production, you can see a, an impact, a follow-on impact, in the amount of silver that's available. Because if they're not mining zinc, there's a lot of silver not being mined. So this is coming in the face of incredible physical demand. If you look at the 50-day average and the 100-day average of the rate at which physical metal is being delivered off of the COMEX, it is at record levels. It hasn't been seen higher than it is now. Now you have to have big money to get metal off the COMEX. So what this is indicating is that uh, a lot of uh, folks with a lot of money are wanting physical gold and physical silver uh, in their own uh, uh, vaults or a vault such as the Texas Bullion Depository, but they want it out of the system and they want it under their uh, control. And so we see uh, in, in light, even though the paper price is down, when you go to buy physical metal, you see that that's not really the, the actual price. It's the price it takes to get the physical metal. Now let me just, while we're talking about that, this in, increase in demand for physical Let's talk about what can happen and what does happen sometimes. Uh, whenever there's nothing going on, it seems you can just have your choice of whatever kind of metal you want to get, uh, what form you want your uh, gold and silver, platinum, palladium to be. There's just a wide variety. But when supplies get tight of physical metal, uh, sometimes your preferred product may not be available at a good cost. And therefore, it, it pays to be open to other types of coins or bars that maybe aren't your first choice if you can save some premium. And some say, well, but when you sell that, it won't get the same rate. That's true, but you're also not paying the same rate when you buy it. So in my opinion, we're better off to have a... Uh, a silver coin that's that's a, a bona fide silver coin from somewhere rather than no silver coin at all. Uh, bars too, same thing. So 
Whenever supplies get tight and you're getting ready to make a metals purchase, don't be intimidated from buying a type of product that maybe wasn't first on your list. It's more important to have the silver or gold uh, in our possession or in our vault or whatever it may be, rather than have none. So I think we're going to see more of those times where physical becomes uh, really hard to, to source. In fact, the, the U.S. government mint is uh, way behind demand right now. They're, they're, they don't have enough blanks to produce uh, the amount of uh, coinage and, and various silver products that people are in demand out there. So you may want to consider bars or rounds or other types of sovereign coins. Don't be afraid of doing that. Uh, silver is silver, gold is gold. And there are also periods of time where other types of silver, such as the, the uh, proof products, investment grade metals, and historic coins, I got my start with historic uh, coins that I inherited uh, that, you know, melt value uh, perhaps would, would be today maybe $750, $800 a coin, uh, but collector value, they're worth uh, around $2,100 a coin. So that's a, that's a type of gain that you, you don't have available in a typical bullion type of product. Nothing wrong with bullion. I'm a believer in that too, uh, and uh, we own some of that as well. Uh, somebody said, well, what kind of gold and silver did you get your wife? Obviously, I, I got her jewelry for that, but it was gold and silver nonetheless. So listen, have a great uh, rest of your week. We'll keep you informed of anything new that develops, uh, but these energy prices are really... Uh, hindering a lot of uh, metals producers and causing a reduction in available supply. So take note of that, get ahead of the curve, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in.